Hey, so what is up everyone? This commentary, I did forget to introduce the gameplay. This is a game of sticks and stones. I'm playing with LT Zonda and Jakey, and I do go pretty ham. I get like 28 kills, and I also get 11 combat axe kills. That's 11 people I set back to zero points. So I do hope you enjoy watching, and I hope you enjoy listening to what I have to say. Hey, so what is going on everyone? And today, I'm just bringing you a commentary talking about a sleeping slash nervous disorder I have. Now this is called Sleep Myoclonus, uh, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, I will probably have the text on screen now so you can see how it's actually spelt. There are, there are lots of different symptoms to this, some are more serious than others, some are, like could lead to infections or it could be from infections and stuff like that. But basically my, my version of it is where my body jumps when I try and sleep. And by jumps, I mean I'm sitting there, laying there, whatever I'm doing, and my body, it's, it's basically down to muscle contraction. After searching online about, like, the sort of experience I had of my body, I didn't know what it was called, but yeah, I googled it and it came up with sleep myoclonus. Now, what I did is I googled that and then I found the symptoms and, like, what, what it's, basically what it's about. And for me, I found, I think, the version that it, like, I have, and for that it is... When my body is, when I'm about to fall asleep, when my body is in the state of mind, like my position of when I'm on the brink, when my, I'm on the gap between being awake and being asleep, I'm on that stage where I'm conscious but unconscious, so I'm about to fall asleep and my muscles will contract, which means my body will jerk or jump up. Now this happens on different occasions. I don't think I do it when I'm in bed by myself. I think I just literally fall asleep, maybe because I'm that comfortable or I'm just that tired that I do tend to just doze off straight away. Whereas if I'm in bed with my girlfriend, sometimes that I tend to jump when I'm with her, which makes her jump. It's quite funny when it happens, but I can't help it. It's when I'm laying there and like I'm with her, but I'm in my mind, I'm really, like, I'm quite tired, and I close my eyes, I'm about to fall asleep, and my body jumps. Um, it's called, they like different terms, like body jerks, body jumps, body hiccups, things like that, and it, you know, it makes her jump as well, which, it, it's funny when it happens, but I don't really quite understand why it happens. Now onto the worst part of it, like, like I said I do it in bed with my girlfriend, or I think, I'm, I'm not sure if I do it in bed by myself, but the worst part of it is when I'm doing it, when I'm on my way to work. So when I'm sat on the train, normally it's on the way back. I'm not too bad on the way there, but normally I'm on the way back. I've had a long day, I've got up early, I'm quite tired, so I tend to put headphones in and fall asleep. Now, I'll be sat on the train, listening to music, I can feel myself dozing off, I'm in a comfortable position, and all of a sudden I will jerk and jump and I always wake up and I'm like, did anyone see that? Has anyone like looked at me and saw like I've just pulsed, like my body's just hiccup for no reason. And yeah, it's quite embarrassing. I do admit that whenever it happens, I do tend to, you know, just skim around and see if anyone has like seen me do it or even if the person next to me been like, what's wrong with you? But yeah, so it's just basically something that it happens. It I don't know if it happens consistently, it does, I, I have noticed it a lot lately, that I did start noticing it, especially on my trains home from work, it was something that kept happening, and it's, it's sort of something that I really don't understand, I don't know why it happens to me, there was another, there was another sort of symptom or reasoning behind it, and that was when you're about to fall asleep and there's a sudden movement, your body contracts. Now that could be, I, that could relate to me as well, but that tends to be, say I'm on the train, and the, the train rocks, that could wake me up and make my body contract. Or I'm in bed with my girlfriend, she moves, that makes me contract. But it happens when she doesn't move, it happens when she's asleep and like there's no movement at all. So I really think that it is the brink between falling asleep and being awake. If you look on YouTube, then there are some videos of people who also have sort of the same thing as me. And you see them fall asleep and they've recorded themselves and then they pulse in the night. Now, that's different to me, I think, because their ones are quite big. They're like, they bring their knees together and stuff, and I don't think they normally wake up. I think they just do it in their sleep and go straight back to sleep. Whereas me, I'm on the train, I'm in bed with my girlfriend, and it happens. And I don't know, it just, I think there are a lot of different symptoms, but I think it is down to a nervous disorder. That's like a, a problem in your nerves or something like that, that it has come up with. That is what the majority of results on Google have shown. It is sleep myoclonus with like slash nervous disorder. 
Now, this isn't something to worry about. Like, I've Googled it and people say that it is literally a disorder. The only bad thing that can come from it is it can lead to more serious sleep disorders. And it may need to be treated if you do get to the point where you're, you know, it is something that has progressed onto an actual sleeping disorder. At the moment, it's just something that it does happen quite often on the train. I don't think it's anything serious. It doesn't happen at home. It doesn't prevent me from getting a good night's sleep. It does just embarrass me a lot when I sit on the train because sometimes I just sit there and I'm I'm just normal and I do it and it's like Jesus Christ like I can see I, I can sometimes feel myself doing it I know that as soon as I'm about to fall asleep it's gonna happen so it's really quite unpredictable so we are now pretty much at the end of the gameplay that was a game of sticks and stones I did do pretty well if you have enjoyed listening to me or watching this then please leave a thumbs up that'd be great it really does show that you do support my videos and also Comment down below if you have a similar sort of sleeping disorder, nervous disorder, like similar to Sleep My Clonus, or even if you do feel you have the same like thing as me. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so, that would be great, just so you can see my next videos when they are up. And as always guys, I will see you all on my next video.